In today's video, we're opening every collector rare set ever made. What's up guys, we're back with another long opening. In this video, I have eight booster boxes, which is the eight collector rare sets that have been made in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's gonna be a fun opening today. We're gonna check out every single one since 2020, Tune Chaos. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this first edition for Onyx Guardian Blister. Simply like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you think about collector rare sets in general. Do you like them? Do you not like them? And let me know what card you wanna see become a collector rare next. All right, let's get right into this. There have been eight collector rare sets ever made. We have a booster box of each of them all first edition by the way so this is going to be a crazy opening we of course are starting off with the brand new maze of memories first edition set with the potential gate guardian inside could be pretty epic i'm pretty excited to see if we can pull this and many other collector rares in this video you guys know i don't really love the setup of collector rare boxes but i do kind of like collector rares as the rarity so let's see how we can do here if we can pull some really cool stuff this will be a battle between these eight collector rare sets make sure to let me know in the comments which collector rare set will win this battle which will you know have the most value pulled it's probably going to require pulling a collector rare when we have eight sets we'll have to see if we can get lucky or not maze of memories let's just start off with our gate guardian set let's see what kind of value we can get we're not going to be doing any pack tricks today because it's going to be a long video if i do that so we have gate guardian of water and thunder very cool the Angel and the Labyrinth Wall Shadow and the Zephyros of the Elite. All right, yeah, so this is like an eight booster box opening, which we rarely do that in a video. This would be more like a live stream. Oh, we got something right off the bat. Ooh, an Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon Ultra Rare. We will take that. I mean, I'm taking Ultra Rares all day. Starting it off with an Ultra Rare. And uh, yeah, it's usually three Ultra Rares per set, in terms per collector of box, I should say. Then you can get a collector rare one every four boxes or whatever three boxes, I should say. Not one every four. Okay, there's our Super Rare. Just the side beast, nothing too crazy there. And of course, since we have eight boxes here, hopefully that means we get two to three collector rares. If we get lucky, maybe even more because these are random boxes. So, you know. We we'll spell Book of Fate. That's a super rare. I thought for a second that wasn't anything. We were about to pull something big, but we didn't. That's okay. Collector rares. It should be a fun opening. I'm excited because I've never opened all of these at once. So this is pretty cool. I didn't even realize. I thought there had been more than eight sets. And then I realized when I was like checking around, wait, I already have all of these. <gasps> Collector Rare, wake up your elemental hero. Starting it off with the Collector Rare right off the bat. Wake up your elemental hero. That is amazing. Check that out. Collector's Rare. I mean, look, if you're an elemental hero fan, this is great, except for the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh cards not on here. So unfortunately, no Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card, but the rest still really nice. Already a Collector Rare. That's a good start. Maze of Memories might win this whole thing. Wow, that was an early start. I wasn't expecting to pull a CR that early. Uh, a wake up your elemental hero. We have a Labyrinth Heavy Tank. Cool, super rare I mean, that's pretty amazing we're like only a few packs in we've already pulled a cr that's that's pretty epic uh gate guardian wind and water cool more gate guardians if there's any like rares in here i'll try and mention them but for the most part collector rares they have like nice rares for like reprints but they're not really money value because they're so easy to pull because they're essentially commons because every card in the in the pack besides like the foil is going to be a rare so it's essentially a common even though it has the rare rarity uh, McKnight Crusadia Avermax, that's a nice super rare. I don't know the values at the moment because I am recording this like right as Maze has just dropped. So, you know, it, it's it's just kind of iffy on what the, the prices are actually going to be because, you know, it's early on. You guys know how it goes. Prices fluctuate a lot at the very beginning. Okay, Maze of Memories. It's been, been pretty crazy so far. We've had great luck with it when I've opened it. We have the Sylvan High Protector super rare. All right, Blackwing. What are we going to get? This is only our first box. This is probably going to be a long video. Sit back, relax. You know, you guys know what to do. Grab your popcorn. Enjoy the video. That is a damaged treacherous trap hold. And we got a gate guardians combined. Cool. For the gate guardian deck. You love to see that. Will we be able to pull it? Like, I guess. I mean, are we looking for another collector rare? I mean, I don't know how that works. We have a teardrop the Rika Queen. We pulled this in CR already and on my channel. So that's pretty cool. All right, few packs left. This is this is this feels like a live stream, but it's not live. So uh if, if just pretend like you're in the live stream. Oh, I thought that was another one. Wake up your elemental hero. That's an ultra rare. So that's our third ultra rare already and a collector rare. So these boxes seem a little bit uh, stacked, you could say. Pretty nice. Uh, Maze of Memories, pretty cool. We have a Psy Beast super rare. I don't know if they've increased the pull rates in Maze, but I feel like I'm pulling collector rares more often because uh, this is still early. I haven't done my case opening at the time of recording this. So I don't know if they've increased the pull rates or what, but maybe I'm just getting really lucky because we've pulled a lot of collector rares out of these sets. It's pretty cool. Gay Guardian of Water and Thunder, which I'm not going to complain. That's pretty awesome. It would be interesting, though, if they did increase the pull rates. 
Maybe it could be for like the 25th or something. Gay Rider combined, that's pretty cool. You know, to celebrate, because they do have the, the, the 25th anniversary on the pack, which is pretty pretty exciting. Solid judgment, first pull of this box, okay? Because you can see it right here, 25th anniversary, getting hyped up for, you know, that's coming next month, guys. Uh, I'm sure this will, you'll see this in March, so I don't, I don't think I'm recording too far ahead here. I think it's probably like next week or something by the time you guys see it, but Crusade Avermax, very cool. And the Mech Knight, awesome. Three packs to go in Maze of Memories. This is, of course, the newest collector rare set. We'll be going in reverse chronological order as we open these. Uh, the next set we're going to be opening is Amazing Defenders, which is not a great set, but I, don't, I honestly don't know. It might not be the worst because it actually has aged a little bit well with the pearly stuff being doing pretty well. You know, people are kind of liking the EVs of Yu-Gi-Oh, if you know what I'm saying. So uh, not bad. Not a bad pull here from uh, from the uh, why am I going to say the Mech Knight, the Maze of Memories, not the Mech Knight. I saw a Mech Knight and it just got in my head there. So Maze of Memories, here's the value. It did pretty well, I think. I mean, with a collector rare, it's hard to really not do well. Next up is Amazing Defenders. The pearly stuff is really what's carrying this set. There's also a few other CRs like a sold and like the, the Mechanko stuff is not terrible as well. So let's just hop into this, see what we can pull. We didn't have like crazy luck with this set compared to like some other sets that we've done really well, like Photon Hypernova. And at this point, Maze of Memories has done us pretty well. Well, all right, Amazing Defenders. This one came out early 2023, 20, uh, so I think it was January when it came out. So we're still in 2023. We've got the Tyranitar right off the bat. A soul, there it is. That's just the super, though, not the collector rare. Uh, there is a difference there. The two different rarities. A lot of times in my live streams, people come and they're like, hey, why are you searching for the scapegoat? You already pulled it. It's right there. And I'm like, that's a different one. That is just the regular rare or the regular super or whatever. You got to have the collector rare with like, the texture and stuff. That's the big one we're looking for. Uh, XC's import. We have a Rescue Ace Impulse. That's a nice super right off the bat. The Gizmech is in here with this Sky Serpent Serpentron or whatever he's called. I don't think it's Sky Serpent. Maybe it is Sky Serpent Serpentron. I don't know. Ha Ray, the Sword of Makanko. Very nice super rare. Okay, amazing defenders. Can you bless us with a collector rare as well? What if we got a collector out of every set? Can you imagine how crazy that would be? Oh, we got an ultra rare right off the bat. Oh, he made the manifested Makanko. I think this is one of the better ones. Yeah, this one's like apparently over 25 bucks. So that's a huge pull right there for the, uh, not ancient guardians. Why do I want to call it ancient guardians? Amazing defenders. I guess because those both didn't do so well, but yeah, that's a great ultra rare. So there's still some good cards in here that you can pull. Just the problem with these sets is just the the ratios. It's just, you know, three ultras, you know, maybe or maybe not a collector rare, usually not actually on average. It's one every three, so about 33% of the time. We got a blank card. Uh, that's cool. Unfortunately, there's no like, uh, you know, like I have Anubis or like the back or something crazy like that, but we got a blank card. So that's weird. Uh, you don't see that every day. I will definitely keep that. That's the card stock of a Yu-Gi-Oh card with nothing printed on it. You don't really see this that often. If you can get it where they've printed like some stuff on it, that's where they really get valuable. Like if this had the back on it, that'd be pretty insane, but I'll still take it. That's cool. I was, I was like, Huh? I just kind of got dumbfounded there for a second. You don't see those every day. Uh, not as cool as our test print out of the 2003 Genzo 10, but still pretty cool. This has already been a cool video. We're pulling some weird stuff already. Okay, let's just keep it going. What else can we get? We have the Sold. Nice, super rare. And Gizmech again. Can we get some good stuff? It will be a Rescue Ace, a Infernoble Knight Reyna. That's another nice, super rare. Card Trooper. Next up is Rescue Ace, uh, Mechanical Promise. Rescue Ace Turbulence. Rescue Aces are not great. I think they're kind of cool looking, but they're not really the archetype to get out of here at this point. Maybe at some point they'll get some support and like kind of get better, but ooh, we got something else. Oh, rescue again. All right, there's another rescue. Yeah, these had a lot of like dings at the top, unfortunately. So there's another rescue card, unfortunately. Got a little ding on it, but that kind of happened a lot to me. Um, unfortunately, but hopefully that, I mean, it seems like Maze has kind of had some damage on some of the commons, but that's it, or the rares, I should say. They're not commons, they're rares. Okay. Infernoble Knight Raynaud, not bad. I mean, we already have three ultras, so we're really hoping for a collector rare here out of the rest of this. That'd be pretty amazing. Uh, Eperly Noir. Yeah, so that's kind of what's gonna have to save this one because we did pull a great ultra rare actually, so we can't really complain about that. I don't think that really good ultra rare even has a collector rare, which is funny because it's one of the best cards in the set. And then there's 15 collector rares to choose from. It's not like they don't have a lot of collector rare options, you know, to throw in there, but seems like it wasn't enough. Let's see, next pack is Rescue Ace Monitor. So far, it's not looking too good for the amazing defenders their value is it's probably not terrible because of that 26 dollars card but i don't know if it's going to be able to beat a collector rare even though the collector rare we pulled wasn't like insane or anything so who knows maybe it will if it's like a really low value collector room. But knowing it's a hero card, I'm kind of guessing it's not, but maybe that blank white card can be worth a little bit as well. So who knows? 
Oh, I thought that was a collector for a second. I was like, whoa, okay, no, it's not. All right, four packs to go. Still a chance for amazing defenders to turn this around. We have a ooh, one for one, it's a nice card. Not a collector rare, just a super rare. Three packs to go, amazing defenders. Let's go, will we defend the amazement? We have Makanko Fire Dance, nice super. We have two packs to go. We have a, oh, I, I threw that one out kind of crazy. We kind of, kind of whipped that sucker out. Let's go, last pack of amazing defenders. Will there be a collector rare? Let's go. We have a Rescue Ace Fire Engine. So no collector at that time, but honestly not a bad box with one of the best ultras in the set. Maybe the best ultra in the set, actually. Second best, actually, according to the price guide, but we'll take that. Here's the total value of both boxes so far. You can see who's in the lead. All right, now we're on to one that you guys know. We've opened up quite a bit recently. Tactical Masters has aged pretty well with all of the Labyrinth stuff getting hot. And of course, Runic being uh, pretty big as well, even though people are not exactly Runic fans, but they're still worth a little bit of money because you can put them in the decks and they're pretty strong. So, you know, sometimes people go to the dark side and they play decks that, you know, are not fun to play against because they can win. That's just how it goes. This same set came out sometime in 2022. I feel like it was maybe mid 2022. I don't remember exactly, but you guys will see the date on the screen. So uh, that's the, you know, the third to last set that came out for collector rares. It's kind of weird. There's kind of a big gap there. And now we've kind of had like two back to back. It's a little weird. Uh, that was weird. That whipped, ripped kind of strangely. We have ghastly glitch, super rare, anti-spell. A lot of cards to be pulled out of this set. Some good stuff. Still got five boxes to go, though. So a lot of stuff going on. We have a Valence Genesis Grand Duke, super rare. And a Absolute King Backjack. We have a Moon in the Runic Wings and a Scapegoat. Okay, let's see. Tactical Masters, you've been good to us recently. It was not good to us originally with the old Scapegoat scenario where we opened seven cases, but recently we've had great luck pulling really, really good stuff. So let's see if we can continue that. Labyrinth, Labyrinth. We're, we're still looking for, I'm looking for more Arianas for my Labyrinth deck. So I'm hoping that we could get one here, even the Ultra Rare, whatever, Joel Lockbird, that's a good card. Runic Smiting Storm, the Valent Super Rare, Trap Trick and Absolute King Backjack. Then we have a Valence World. Book of Eclipse and Labyrinth Shanglier. Okay, so far we have uh, literally no ultra rares, no collector rares out of here at all. So we're still looking. Droll and Lockbird, cool. If you if I want, if you guys want a reminder, not if I want a reminder, I'm, I'm the one doing it. But if you want a reminder of the best cards in here, it's Ariana the Labyrinth Servant, Runic Tip, lovely Labyrinth of the Silver Castle CR. We got Droll in here. We got Runic Fountain. Just a bunch of Runic and uh, Labyrinth stuff, and then of course the Droll. So yeah, stuff like that. There's a lot of decent things in here. The best ultra rare in here is still the Welcome Labyrinth and the Runic Tip, I believe. Yeah, something like that. Runic Slumber and another welcome labyrinth dude i keep pulling these like now i have more than i need so i guess i'm gonna sell this one i already have three of those which i'm not gonna complain about pulling the best ultra rare in the set but for some reason it's just like stuck to my hand man i draw it every time somehow i don't know what's going on let's go let's see if we can get oh yeah no it's Arion. no i think you actually need one of these a lot of the time not need but you can use one of them so i, I might already have one though Arion. it's god oh, i thought it was ariana i got so excited that's the worst one Ariana's a lot better uh uh, in the deck that one is somewhat usable but not as usable but still labyrinth pulls we're not going to complain about that cosmic cyclones in here is a cr as well so uh so it's still only one cr so far out of our what this is our third box yeah it's not terrible pretty decent uh we just need to pull one uh you know basically one more out of this whole opening three would be slightly above ratio and that's kind of what we're hoping for and uh i would i would like to save one for the tune chaos box i wouldn't be mad about that labyrinth labyrinth cool Maybe even the uh, you know, King's Court or, or uh, Grand Creators next would be pretty cool. Those are those are both good. Runic Freezing Cures. I mean, th there's some big stuff. We could even pull the God cards out of the King's Court. I mean, that would be pretty amazing. We're not even at the halfway point of this video. So hope you guys are enjoying the longer video. I mean, I was going to do this like for an early video for Maze, but I'm like, man, this is kind of a long video, like more of a special video. Maybe we should do this a different time. All right, five packs left to Tactical Masters. We still should have at least one more Ultra Rare, maybe a Collector Rare. Let's see. We have a... Ooh, here it is. Ooh, Valence War is the place at the beginning. That is not a good ultra rare. Valence is the one you don't really like in here. It's Runic and it's Labyrinth. Those are the ones you actually want to pull, Labyrinth Barrage. But don't worry, we can still get a collector rare. Four packs left. I think I was hiding one of them earlier by accident. We have a Runic Destruction, super rare. Cosmic Cyclone, three packs left. Ooh, oh, Joe, the Valence Warrior. Okay, it feels like Valence just pops up every time I open this. Like, I get good luck, but all the supers are always Valence cards. It's really weird. We have a Moon in the Runic Wings. That's a good Runic card. And then the final pack of Tactical Masters for this video. Let's go. We have a Compulse and a Valence World. So no Collector Rare in there either. Oh, man, that's okay. That's okay. We're one for three. 
Grand Creators is going to redeem us. All right, Grand Creators. I believe this came out early 2022, and this was a pretty strong set. There's a lot of good stuff. The Brave Package, of course, is in here, Rite of Aramis here and stuff like that. Those are really strong. The Water Enchanters, then the Punk stuff's in here, so that's really great. Torrential Tribute got a collector. I never actually pulled that one. I don't remember. What did we search for when I opened this? Did we do a live stream searching for stuff? I'm pretty sure we did. Oh, yeah. And then we... Oh. What am I talking about? I remember what happened. We opened two cases and we got no collector rares. How could I forget? I almost forgot. I'd wiped it away from my from my brain. So yeah, that happened. That was rough. Then we opened another case later on. It kind of redeemed it a little bit, but let's see if we can uh, have some good luck. Some of these boxes are like insane. Like a lot of these like, oh, oh, oh we already got something. What? We have Exo Sister Irene. <laughs> and a ride of Aramis here on the first pack. The best card probably in the set. That's not a collector rare. Yeah, this is about a $35 card. So even now, the, the Brave package is still alive and well. That is a great start. We've already pulled a really nice Ultra. I'm hoping that we can have a little bit of that crazy luck where people are pulling like multiple collector rares out of like one box. But I'm guessing that we get the one that doesn't have any. All right, great start. This is the halfway point when we're done with this with this box because there's eight total boxes. This will be our fourth opening. So far, it's been pretty good. We got a collector rare. We got some really good ultras. Some of the best ultras in set like Welcome Labyrinth. Pulled Ride of Aramisir. We pulled the uh, the nice ritual too from uh, whatever the Amazing Defenders is called. That is crimped. Okay, we got some crimped cards there, and then a Z Zmin crimped. All right, I'm gonna. Pull those aside. I remember there being a crimping issue in a lot of these. They crimped a lot of the cards, but a punk card that's crimped, that could be worth something. Who knows? Insector Dragonfly. The Insectors were like, oh yeah, this is going to be exciting. Insectors are back. And like, that was like the worst part of the whole set. It's hilarious. That's just how it goes sometimes. We got Exo Sister, super rare. Got a couple more Ultras in here. Maybe a Collector Rare. We're hoping a Collector Rare. Let's go. Come on. Castell, Exo Sister, Stella, super. Not bad. Not bad at all. Then we have a... Breath of the Resurrection, very cool. Rise Bell, more punks. Can you bless us with an amazing pull? Here we go, Goki pull. We have an Exo Sister Jabreen, Hornet, and the Centipede. So far, just an Ultra, no Collector Rare. All right, we got a Punk Madame Spider. Still looking for that epicness. Next up is King's Court, by the way, so stay tuned for that. We could pull a God card and Secret Pharaoh's Rare, which they finally did print more of those in Magnificent Maven, so that's fun. Collector Rare sets, let me know what you think about them in the comments down below. Okay, that's a super. Why does the Castell always not look like a rare for some reason? I don't know why. Um, you guys know how I feel about the setups. I'm hoping that they change at some point. They switch them up. They do like different rarities added in. They add more pulls, you know, I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna work, but e Telly, we have Wandering Griffin Rider, super rare for that Brave package, very cool. Still a lot of packs left here. Still only one Ultra, so I'm looking for uh, maybe that Water Enchantress, Exo Sister Ellis, maybe some Punk stuff. What is the bit second best Ultra? Right, and then Foxy Tune. So Fox Dune's pretty big and then Water Enchantress. So if we get either of those, we're going to be really happy. It's going to be a crazy box. Uh, six packs left. We've only pulled one Ultra so far. So we're really looking for more than that. We've got a Punk again. Okay, where are the Ultras? Uh, no, six packs left now. Okay. All right, so we've opened 18 packs. We've got one Ultra. Not great. Wandering Griffin Rider. Okay, we're still looking. Five packs left. Oh, uh, where is it? Hello. Can we find it? We have... Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The Ogre Dance. All right, not the Foxy Tomb, but it's the Ogre Dance. This is pretty nice as well. Another nice Ultra Rare. Punk stuff, we're not going to complain about that. Our second Ultra. It's been a great box so far. We can pull a Collector Rare. That'd really turn it around. Make it a, not, not that it needs to be turned around. We, if we turn it around, that'd make it worse we're doing so well. We don't want to turn it around. I take that back. Let's uh, keep it going. How about keep it going? Let's do that. We have Insector Pika Felina. Two packs left. Should be at least one more Ultra. Or it could be replaced by a Collector Rare. Uh, I'd be okay with that. My name is Spider. Okay, it's coming down to the last pack. What are we going to get? Let's get a Foxy Tune. Let's get a Water Enchantress. Let's get a Collector Rare of something. Here we go. Danelle, Ladybug, Torrential, Hidden Armory, and a Foxy Tune! Wow! What a box, man! For not having a Collector Rare, that might actually beat the Collector Rare box. Talk about an amazing box. Here are the scores of all four boxes so far, and I think they may have may have just taken the lead. I don't know. You guys will see the score. That's pretty amazing. Now we got King's Court. King's Court came out all the way back in 2021. Can you guys believe it's been that long since King's Court came out? That's pretty amazing to me. It just shows me how old I'm getting there. Time is flying by, guys. Let me know. Does it feel long or is it just me? Am I just old? Is that what's going on? Okay, King's Court. Haven't opened this in a hot minute. I mean, we opened a few blisters, I think, in like one of our blister openings, but it was not that many packs. So this is like, yeah, it's been a throwback since we've opened a box. So let's see if we can pull. I mean, our pulls have been great today. I mean, not in terms of like collector rare ratios, but just in terms of like the best cards in the set. We're pulling them over and over. King's Court, I believe that you can pull us a God card. <laughs> 
I don't know. I'd, I'd probably, I don't know. Guard card would be cool. Collector would be cool. I'd be down for both. Let's go. We have rivalry. Yep. Right off the bat, we got a ZW. Golden eyes. Oh, wait. These might be at the back. Are they, wait, are these Euro? Yeah, these are Euro. Okay, so it's going to be in the back every time, which is cool. So we don't have to like spoil it right off the bat. That's pretty cool. What's the King's Court going to bring us? We got Utopic Future. We got Queen's Knight. We have Golden Eye. And an Arcana Triumph Joker. That's pretty amazing. One of the pack arts. We'll take that. One of the pack art work cards. Arcana Triumph Joe for the Jofer. Jofer? That's not right. Okay, Ultra Rare. Not bad. I don't think it's a crazy card, but it's not terrible. Oh, I forgot to pull the price guide up. I need to pull that up. We got extra Joker. We got ties. We got the Wicked Eraser and Hyper Galaxy. I always think this is a collector rare. I think it actually does have a collector rare in this set, though. Best Ultra in here is Lightning Storm. It's only like 12 bucks. So the non CRs in here are not great. So we're really looking for like a Secret Pharaoh's Rare or a collector rare to really save this box guilty gear free the magical steel knight that's an ultra rare okay i really don't know if the god cards replace an ultra in here because i don't think i've ever actually pulled one out of like a single booster box where i was counting like all our pulls and stuff it was probably like a big opening where we opened a ton of like different mixed up packs or it was like you know on a live stream i pulled some on whatnot i think so yeah i, I don't know i don't really know what the ratios are Rose Princess in terms of like, if you pull a, a collector rare and then a God card, will that like still have three ultras in the box? I really don't know. Um, well, I guess maybe we'll find out here. That'd be pretty cool. Pot of duality and a Pendangle de Holes. Okay, the de Holes is at it again. Will we pull a God card from this box? Let's do it. We have Pendulum, Pot of Duality, very cool. And a World Legacy Guard Dragon. Pot of Duality, I'm pretty sure I have some around here somewhere. I think I have a secret rare, like original, um, what is that set called? Duelist, not Duelist Alliance. What, what's it called? What's that set called? Uh, we got the Phantom of Yang Zing. Well, for whatever reason, I, I can't remember what set the effect failure is from and Pot of Duality and all this. Pot of Awesome and stuff. What was that set called again? 2011 set. I don't remember, but I have an original somewhere of that and you need those for Labyrinth. So I know I have some Pot of Dualities, aka Pot of Awesomes, but I don't know where they are. So I'll just grab these and use these for my deck. This box is pretty iffy so far. Not amazing. We're pulling some okay stuff, but not really great we have a joker's wild super rare why, why can't i remember the name of that it's really bugging me now it's like duelist something duelist not rise of the duelist not return of the duelist not duelist alliance scrapped in dragon it's something about duelist duelist revolution there we go i knew i'd remember it all right pot of duality again that's my play set already we have a hyper cannon that's a super what if we got two ultras so far no collector or no god card so still searching for the one the only god card we have a phantom of the yang zing not too great. Still several packs to go out of here, though. We could still pull something big. If we get a Lightning Storm, a Collector Rare, that'd be pretty nice. We have a Rose Princess. I've pulled like three or four of those already. Get a play set of those at least. We have Arcana Knight Joker. We have Rhoda. We have number 49, Fortune Tune. Six packs to go. Queen's Knight, Dowsing Fusion, Zolga, Cloudian. We have mm, Court of Cards. Not bad, not bad. S no, it is six packs. Dang it. There's always one hiding behind another pack. So I think there's six and there's really not. That's why I'm always counting wrong. Oh, Utopic Draco Future. So this is actually a pretty good one. Number F0 Utopic Draco Future. I think this got a reprint, what, Battles Legend Crystal Revenge. So that probably like hurt the value of this printing, but still pretty nice card we'll take that I, I guess that's up there in, in terms of value it's probably like four or five bucks something like that it's not terrible magna induction so we've got three ultras but we do not have a collector rare or a god card yet so we're hoping that that can happen right here crystal girl by right here i mean in these last three packs for king score our fifth box of eight of this opening and don't worry tune chaos is coming up guys that is going to be an epic opening will we pull something say it's funny because like the best cards the side frame gear gamma not that like crazy exciting for collectors but hey i'd be happy with pulling it i'd also be okay with the bls i mean i'll grade a big collector rare if we get it all right our final king's court pack this is probably not one of our best ones i mean we pulled a couple of good like utopia draco future is not bad but Okay, wow. It was, it was not a great one. We didn't get a collector rare. We've only pulled one collector rare in this opening, and of course, it was from Maze. Here are the five box totals. You can see who's in first right now. On next is Ancient Guardian. So Ancient Guardians at the time was not exactly considered to be a great set. Uh, inside, though, you can get the Pankratops, which is a really cool card. I did pull that originally when we did this. I'd be okay pulling that again. I gave that one to Gage. Not Gabe, but I traded that one to Gage for one of his videos. I'd be okay pulling it again because it's a pretty nice looking card. Let's see if we can do it. All right, so the best non collector in here is like seven dollars so we're not looking at a lot of value in terms of these packs so we're really looking for a collector rare here we have what appears to be another european box because these are at the very end which makes it more fun but also more likely to get damaged because they're in the very back skullmeister is also a collector rare in here i think we pulled that one 
Sulfur Cord. So the Sulfur Cord stuff, I think, is the it's the Sulfur Cord Fancia is the best card in here. So yeah, not the craziest because you probably haven't even heard of that card if you've never watched these open. And you're like, wow, that's the best card in the set. I mean, not the best because Collector Rares, but you know, best Ultra Rare. Let's see, can we get something good here to you know start it off? We got the new new the Ogdo yeah, because Ogdoic was in here and that did not perform well. I have a few of those Collector Rares. They're like fifteen dollars and they're not even selling at fifteen dollars. So. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Evil Dragon and Anti once made one of my... Oh, Ogdoidic. I have this collector. Right? That's the one that's not selling. That's an Ultra, though. Yeah, that Evil Dragon and Anti was one of my very first... Maybe my very first YouTube video I made was with that deck. It might have been the second one. Um, I made a deck on Duel Links with Evil Dragon and Anti. It was really fun. But yeah, that, that was not a great video because, you know, back in the day, my videos were... not. I mean, say what you want about them now, but back then, whew, it was not good. It was not good. But it is always funny to remember those times, you know, when you're making your first videos. Because I know a lot of you guys are doing that too. You're making your first video. You're like, eh, a little scared to put it out. Just just do it, man. We got the Pancratops. Just put it out there. That's all you can really do. You can't expect it to be perfect at the beginning. Because uh, let me tell you, it will not be perfect. It's going to be disgusting. You're going to hate yourself in like a year. You're like, why did I ever put this out? And then you're like, oh yeah, because that's how I got started. That's just how it happens. Okay, Ancient Guardians, one Ultra Rare so far. No Collector Rare. Still looking for those. We have a Dissolve Cord QTO. Okay. Still a lot of packs to go. We're really hoping to get a collector rare in one of these last three. That'd be really cool. I'd be really down for a Panger Tops. That'd be really awesome. I mean, it's a one in 15 chance though, after, like to even pull it once you get a collector rare. So it's pretty unlikely about one in four cases. I'm going to water lily, not that crazy. But yeah, it would be pretty awesome. We have a Offering the Snake Deity, Skullmeister, and the Alahurt. Okay, still several packs left. Ancient Guardians, not a great set at all, but there's still Collector Rares that I want in here. We have Fasulfa Court Fancia. <gasps> the best card in the set! The best Ultra Rare! The $7 card will take it. Look, this isn't a great set, but hey, we pulled the best Ultra. This is like a weirdly high ratio of us pulling the best cards, like the best Ultras at least, in this video. It's like four or five times we've done this already. We've pulled the Fancia. We've pulled the, uh, the second best in the uh, Amazing Defenders, but that's still pretty close. Then we pulled the best card in... Okay, nice. Then we pulled the best card in Grand Creators. And I think we pulled one of the best cards in Maze, right? Wait, I don't even know. No, we didn't pull Baron, but it was another set. It was... What was the other one? I can't remember. There's too many sets now. <laughs> I'm getting confused, but I think maybe three times we pulled either the best card or the second best card, which is pretty good. Uh, so of course, and then of course in the uh, Grand Creators, we pulled like the top three, which was insane. Or three out of the top four, something like that. Ogdoide, come on, we have a, your Sartic, man. Four packs left. Well, we still have one more Ultra in here. Still got hope. One more Ultra, maybe a Collector Rare. Let's go. We have a Sulfcourt Angelia. Three packs left. Look, I'm not going to be mad if this is the set we don't get a Collector Rare in, because look, most of the Collector Rares in here are not good, but I would be down still to get one. I'm not going to be mad. We have, okay, the Do Sulfcourt Coolia. This is the second best card. So, it, I mean, honestly, this is kind of a cracked box for uh ancient guardians it's pretty cracked it's pretty amazing we're getting all the good stuff we're getting everything you can get it's just not very valuable okay well, there we go super final pack will it be a collector rare this could turn around this could be the best the best one ever pecker tops is the only card over 100 in here so maybe let's just get it real quick Ooh, and a cutie. Okay, so uh, a great box, to be honest. I mean, it's not going to make our money back, but still pretty awesome. We pulled the best two cards in there, and that's probably in like last or second to last right there, which is hilarious. Okay, Genesis Impact. Is this really the second collector rare set? That's pretty crazy. Genesis Impact. In here, you can get some pretty cool stuff. The evil twins are in here. They'll like the live twin stuff. We got the nightmares. Uh, really, it's like not a lot of value. Like the highest value card is 64 bucks. But I mean, the live twin stuff is done pretty well. Like it's still being used at some points. Uh, it's still a pretty strong archetype. Just doesn't have like a crazy staple you want. Doesn't have like a really necessary card for like a really popular deck. Um, so it doesn't have like something insane like that, but we'll see. Maybe uh, maybe we can pull some really, you know, nice stuff out of here. And the main problem with this stuff is it's all had reprints because these are old enough. I forgot to like mention the, the dates on some of these, but they're old enough that at this point, they've probably had a reprint be caught from the underworld. Uh, this is what, 2021 maybe or... I think it was 2021 when this came out, maybe late 2020, something like that. But yeah, this is a really old Herald of Ultimateness. Yeah, who misses that? Not me. Okay, we have, not that I ever played against it, but I heard about it. I heard it was, uh, no, I, that's not true. I did play against it. It was in uh, Master Duel and it was not fun. Yeah, I was like, I knew I, I knew I had experienced that before. 
We have a live twin home. Not a bad card for the live twins. Okay, what do we add? Okay, honestly, maybe we can keep this video under 40 minutes, keeping like more in the 30 minute range. That'd be pretty cool. Let's see if we can do that. Live twin Lilla, that's a good card. Lots of lots of live twins, okay? Because live twins is where they started. Turned out to be a great archetype, to be honest. I mean, still being used in Master Duel stuff, still being used in some like, uh, oh, nice. Used with like Sprite and stuff like that. But uh, Sprite, you know, kind of got hurt, you know, with uh, which one did they ban? I don't know, because I played Master Duel, so. Uh, I think they banned the Sprite Elf, so it kind of like, that's kind of hard to play with the Sprite Elf, without the Sprite Elf, I should say. Um, so yeah, it's kind of killed that, but that was very recent that that was relevant, so at some point that might come back, we'll have to see. Demion, we have a Perform Age, Live Twin Kiss a Kill, lots of packs left, still, the best card in here is only, uh, 9.30, and it's a Evil Twin card, uh, Kiss Kill and Lilla, so if we could pull that, it'd be pretty cool. But it's all those reprints that's really hurting the values there for like, you know, retaining value on the ultra rares. At this point, they're really just like, yeah, you got to get the collector rare version. That's going to be the one that holds up a little better after the reprint. We got the Nightmare Phoenix. Nightmare Phoenix is in here. That'd be a nice collector rare as well. I'd be down for that. Some of the other ones are like Live Twin, Nightmare Phoenix. We got uh, Drytron stuff is in here. Oh, there we go. The Drytron, Metionis, Draconin, Draconin, something like that. I don't know. What are the, what are the reprint? Like, okay, Drytron, actually Drytron Nova is in here for, for 19. I missed that. So Drytron Nova is a great hit as well. Alistair, the Invoker of Madness is in here. So it's a bad link, but it is an Alistair card. So that's fun. That's also a collector rare for 13 bucks. So it just shows you how often people are using that. Even if you play, you know, Invoked, you're not going to play that card. It's kind of, kind of bad. So yeah, it's a really mostly archetype based collector rares in here. Not a lot of like high rarity, like staples and stuff. Like they usually put in with some of them. I feel like they've been trying to put in like three to four of those each one because they have 15 different options. So you got a lot of room to like, you know, sneak stuff in there. Two packs left. Genesis, I mean, still probably like 10 packs, something like that. What have we pulled? A couple ultras so far. Yeah, Invoker of Madness, the Drytron card. We really want the Drytron Nova. I almost forgot about that card. That's a big one. I never actually played Drytron myself, so I'm not super familiar, familiar with it. Cyber Emergency, that's a nice super. Basically, if it's not on Master Duel and I haven't played it myself, then I probably don't know it that well, but I have been playing a lot of Master Duel on Twitch, so go check out my Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Ruxin34 if you guys want to see that. I've been streaming Monday, Wednesday, Friday, unless we move some of the streams, but I always do three streams a week. Tentatively, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Ooh, Evil Twin, Kisa Kill. That's a nice link. We'll take that. And yeah, you can check out my Twitch there. It's been fun. We've been doing, uh, we do some openings there. We do Master Duel. We do Pokemon. We do all kinds of different stuff. It's really fun. So if it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, it's usually between 1 p.m. Central and like 3 p.m. Central when we start. We usually go for two to three hours. So if you want to see that, go check it out. Been trying to be consistent this year. And so far, I have been consistent. I haven't missed a week yet. Try not to miss a week. We have a Life's Went Home. Bottomless for that, uh, for the trap tricks. There you go, guys. Two packs left. Will there be a collector rare? Man. Collector Rare Luck has not been there today. A loose boxes though, it's very easy to like, you know, open them up, you know, you get your collect four Collector Rares and then just sell the rest of the box and stuff like that. So it's it's likely that we won't get any, you know, it's, or it's a lot less likely than if you buy a case because it is easy. You can you know, you count the number four Collector Rares, probably not any more left. I don't need the rest of these boxes, but here we go. Final Toon Chaos first edition. This came out in 2020, old school, you know, during the pandemic, it was like middle of summer, I think, something like that. This is the big one. This is the original Collector Rare set, the first ever, you know, the box doesn't fit, you know, it's crazy. Uh, I had a first edition box laying around. I was like, okay, I guess we're going to open this. At some point, I got this in a purchase of a collection. So pretty excited. Check out the scores right now before we actually get into the Toon Chaos opening. Should be pretty close, I think, between the top couple. If we can get a big collector out of here, maybe we could pull ahead. And then, you know, maybe we'll be able to get it graded or something like that. So we have 24 packs of Toon Chaos. Let's go. It's been quite a while since I've opened up first edition Toon Chaos box. So... This is pretty exciting. I'm really, if we're going to get a collector, we might as well end it on a collector from Toon Chaos, right? Let's do it. We have a Cypher and Driver. The, oh, this is the fourth card. Pot of Desires. Okay, I don't, I don't remember. They, they've changed up how the collector rares, like the pack opening experience actually works so many times. I can't keep up. We have Keeper crossover. We have a Fluffle Angel. So I think they might all be in the fourth slot. I'm not really sure. Seven total cards in the pack. Fourth slot just right in the middle, kind of like a normal pack. They changed that up as it went. Gamma, we gotta pull all those out, those are money. Dark Flyer, we got the Proglio, and then the Toon Terror right off the bat, just another Toon card. 
Toon Chaos, you know. Not a lot of Toon cards in here, though. All right, let me know. Have you guys enjoyed this uh, this collector rare opening? Let me know. Master Hero Acid. Hope you have, and I'm hoping that we can continue our good luck here, but increase it with a collector rare pull. That'd be pretty amazing. I would love to get... Okay, wait. Oh, I forgot to put price guy. What are the top right now? Cyframe Gear Gamma, by far the most. Then Blacklister Soldier on with the beginning. Toon Blacklister Soldier, Chaos Space. These are all collector rares, by the way. Stardust, Pot of Extravagance. All that stuff is good. I would love to pull Pot of Extravagance would be a nice ultra rare to pull. Micro Coder. Not as valuable anymore because it's had a couple reprints since they reprinted it in here. This is already a reprint. But still pretty nice. We have an Eternal Chaos. Not bad. Chaos. Toon Chaos. Now can we get a Chaotic Collector Rare? We have a Gamma. Nice. And then a Fry for Sabretooth. That was a very expensive card before this reprint. It was like $15 for a super. It's great. No, maybe it was an ultra out of docs. I think it was an ultra, actually. Okay, no ultras yet. We're still looking. No ultras out of the uh, Toon Chaos box. Hopefully it will happen. We have Dark Flare Dragon, Mass Hero Deanne, Blackluster Soldier on the on the of the beginning. Is this a sign? No, it's a Toon Terror. Okay. No sign. Chaos Number Dragon, Mud Dragon of the Swamp. I'd be okay with any of those classic monsters in Collector Rare. Be pretty cool. Let's see what we can get. Dark Flare Dragon, Proglio. Blackluster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. Dude, how many Toon Terrors is this? This is terrifying. <laughs> Get it? Huh? Yeah, toon Terror? Okay, that's a lot of Toon Terrors. Here we go. Witch of the Black Forest. Let's go. Supervise. Can we pull something good? Chaos Sork. Chaos Valkyria. I mean, it's another super. All right. We're starting off super heavy. Very heavy with supers, I should say. Let's go. Come on. Let's pull something big. We have a Gear Breed, Light Pulsar, Psyframe Driver, and Toon RP Lady. Wow, this is uh, quite the start. How many packs have we opened now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We opened 11 packs so far. And I've not pulled anything yet. That's how Collector Rare sets can go. We got Psyframe Driver, Master Deanne. Oh, I thought that was a collector rare. Some, somehow, like, the, the bottom, like, whitening kind of stuff kind of looks like a collector rare sometimes. It's weird. Okay, still looking, still looking. Soldier. Gemini. Gamma? Nice. Chaos Space. Oh, I wish that was a collector rare. That'd be nice. Okay, just a super, but that card was money, but it's probably not anymore because it had got a secret reprint in Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. Still looking for uh, anything. Crossover Ultra would be nice. We got a Hero Blast. Magician of Hope. Okay, we are officially a lot of packs in with no no pulls at all. Whew, okay, this is, this is a rough start. Here we go. Deanne, Light Pulsar, Curse of Dragonfire, Magician of Hope. Wow. Okay, we we have single digit packs left. You know what we need? Uh oh. Oh, these are crimped. Okay, they're crimped. That's why. That's why it's open. Okay, I was like, uh oh, do we get a resale? Okay. You know what we need? We need that. We need the pack trick. Here we go. Pot of Desires, nice card. That's going to help us. We have the... Wait, is the back crimped on there? It's not. Okay. So just part of the cards. Number 68, not hard of the cards, part of the cards. Master of Vapor, we have Blacklister Soldier on for the beginning. Gear Breed, Light Pulsar Dragon, and we have... Oh, a Pot of Extravagance! Wait, is this crimped? I said I wanted this pot of extravagance. It does have a little bit of crimping going on at the bottom. Interesting. So we got a little mini crimp pot of extravagance. That's a great pull. We'll take that. The best ultra rare at the moment is the Toon Blacklister Soldier, the cover card in, uh, you know, regular ultra form. There's also a collector rare. So it looks like the pack trick worked here. It brought us something. We got pot of desires and pot of extravagance. Number 68. We got a vapor, a gear breed, keeper of dragon magic, Cyframe driver, and number seven, number 75, bamboozling gossip shadow. He's bamboozling me and i cannot speak seven packs to go in this every collector rare set opening hope you guys have enjoyed it hope you like it like enjoy this tune chaos opening because this box is stupidly expensive it does not make sense to open chaos zone we got code generator keeper of dragon magic the crossover we have a mass hero blast and a chaos creator we'll take it it's a chaos card we will take that okay two ultras no collector rares so far come on Come on. The pack trick has worked for us. We have pulled back-to-back -back ultras since then. Code generator. Let's go. Chaos Zone. Sangan. Witch of the Black Forest. Blacklister Soldier. Envoy of the Evening Twilight. Master of Blast. And a Fright for Sabretooth. Nothing crazy there. Five packs to go. Hopefully there's one more ultra and a collector rare. Let's do it. Let's pull it. We have a Stardust Dragon. Envoy of Chaos. Cool card. Toon World. Toon cards. Master of Blast. For some reason, Toon Kingdom was not in this set. Witch of the Black Forest. Supervise. And a chaos space just a super okay here we go i think chaos space was the first one i pulled i think i pulled that out of my boxes for my locals i think dwarf star planeter star road we got the chaos space or the chaos sorcerer that's a different thing gemini ablation and the evocator evq three packs left of toon chaos dwarf star planeter Cynet codec 
True King, Lithosagium, the Dark Dragonfire, Proglio, Blockers of Soldier Envoy at the beginning, and a Masked Hero Acid. It's coming down to the last couple of packs in our, what, 24 times 8 opening. How many packs is that? 160, 184 packs. One, two, three. Pretty insane. Here we go. Long video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hope you've had some great popcorn today. Starlight Road, Cyframe Gear Gamma. We'll take that. Gemini Ablation, the Master of Deanne, and a Masked Hero Acid. It's coming down. To the final pack will it be a collector rare stardust dragon i take that cypher and gear gamma i'd also take that one two three final pack of this opening hope you guys have enjoyed it if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video for more content let's go my dragon in the swamp we got the sacred soldier cypher and gear gamma we'll take that dark flare dragon we have a prog leo and we have our final card Toon Terror? Did I miscount the ultras? It seems like we only got two ultras in that box, which is uh pretty bad, unless I missed a collector rare somehow. I, I just looked. I don't see any of them. They don't look like collector rares, so I don't know. Not a great ending, but honestly, a pretty solid opening. Only one collector rare in this collector rare opening, which go figure. That's what would happen. But I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Michael James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas. McLean, thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.